What is up everyone? This is Dragon Juice 27 and this is Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke Episode 3. And here are our two lovely Pokemon, still only two. Hopefully we can change that number today. So before we get on with this episode, I first of all want to thank all of you guys for all of the support you have been showing, for all of your comments on the videos, for all of your likes, for the increase in subscribers. We've jumped up to 36 subscribers in a short period period of time, so I'm really happy. And I hope you guys continue to watch our videos and yeah, continue to comment, continue to like, and continue to subscribe. So before we get on with catching Nuzlocke Pokemon 3 and 4, yes, you heard me correct, two Pokemon today, we are going to go into this building real quick. It's called the Jubilife Con... Does it say Condom? The Jubilife Condom, anyway. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to talk to this lovely lady over here, who says, who compliments our Pokemon, and gives us the quick claw which is a, an equip it has a 10 percent chance of activating if it activates the pokemon strikes first yep so we're gonna give it to bidoof because bidoof is our slow poke of the of the pokemon family so far so you know what i'm gonna do no we're not gonna catch the pokemon yet we have one more thing to do and i'm doing this for your guys' benefit because this really doesn't help me out that much right now but if you guys are following along I'm gonna treat this a bit like a walkthrough so in here you're gonna watch want to talk to this cool dude over here who yes he is a fisherman and yes he will give you the old rod and the sad thing about the old rod in this game is that it only it has a hundred percent chance of catching a magic carp so if you guys love magic carp you go for it but otherwise uh, it's not really worth it wait for the good rod and Magikarp does evolve into Gyarados, and but the problem is you have to level level it up to level 20 and the maximum level, like the levels you can catch in the wild, like if I fished over here for example, would be level 4 to 15. And even if it's level 15, I would still have to raise it 5 levels by sw uh, switching in and out because Magikarp doesn't really learn any good moves. And on le level 15 it does learn tackle but it's so weak that you can't really train it that way. So it would just be another bitch to deal with in this Nuzlocke run. So I'm not going to catch one right now. And we picked up an X accuracy over there. And although I'm not going to use it, I, it is really awesome for me to sell. Because we do get quite a lot of money for it. So if you guys don't like to use X items, definitely pick it up to sell it. And it's over here. Battle items. There we go. X attack can be sold for 250. We're going to turn that over. And this can be sold for 475 which is a hell of a lot of money so now we have 1205 and you guys should be doing calculations in your head right now because that is enough to buy four potions perfect and one guy in the comment section below he actually came up with a really good idea to say that why not uh, just heal as many times as you want in the pokemon center i mean i did actually consider that and that would also be a fun Nuzlocke run, but would it be challenging enough for me? I don't think so. Because if I was able to heal repeatedly, I probably wouldn't lose a Pokemon because I'm just that good. I mean, I'm not trying to sound arrogant or anything, but it's going to be more challenging if I do it like this. So I'm going to go into my bag. And why did I do that? I think just to get a grip on things, I'm going to use a potion on Bubbles because he will be the Pokemon that's going to weaken the opposing Pokemon before catching our next Nuzlocke Pokemon. Yeah, a lot of Pokemons in that sentence over there. So this is going to be Route 204. It's the south version of it. We're not going to explore this route yet, but we're going here to catch Nuzlocke Pokemon number... What should I call it now? Number two, I guess, because we've only caught one so far. And now should I quote the percentages for you guys? I think I should. Okay, there's a 25% chance of catching the awesome bird Pokemon Starly. 25% chance of catching the retarded Pokemon Bidoof, 10% chance of catching the pain in the ass Pokemon Wurmple, 25% uh, chance of catching a Badu, which eventually will evolve into Roserade if you treat it right, and a 15% chance of catching a Shinx. So, I'm really going to be happy if I get nothing, if, if I get something that's not a Bidoof. If I get a Bidoof, that would be fucking pissing off because then I would be stuck with two Pokemon right now. But I really don't want to Wurmple. I would really want 
Number one, I would want a Shinx. Number two, I would want a Badiou. And number three, I would want a Starly. So, I hope I can catch one of those. I'm really hoping for it. So, guys, it's time to begin. Wish me luck, and let's do this shit. Okay, first to get this item, I mean, I didn't get a run. Okay, now it's time, baby. We need to do well now. We need to catch something good. Okay, Bidoof. You got this. You got this. Okay, baby. Come on. Something good. Something good. Yes! Oh my god, am I happy as shit right now. I love Badoos. Like, they're... The only reason I'm so happy right now is they're quite rare this early in the game. And they're an awesome grass type. If I chose, um... What's his name as a starter? What's his name? The... The... the sh what the fuck is his name? That shitty ass starter? You guys know him as the green starter, whatever, the leaf, whatever the fuck he is. I hate him, okay? Like, he's not really that good of a Pokemon. Oh, Turtwig, yeah. The one that Dawn has. Uh, I don't really like it. So if I had that as a starter, I wouldn't want to catch this right now. But since I have a fire type and a normal type so far, I'm perfectly happy with the grass type. And enough of my talking, let's go for the Pokeball. And now I need to think of a name, fuck. I didn't, I had no idea that I was going to catch it, but you, I thought that like, there was no way in hell I would catch one. Awesome, we get on the first try. I think I'm going to name it, what the fuck should I, oh, no, that's the name name. I was about to name it Bud, but you know, hey Bud, okay. The Bud Pokemon, sensitive to changing temperature. The Bud is said to bloom when it feels the sun's warm touch. I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it, um, what should I call it? Ho? I was about to call it Ho, and then I'm like, no, no, that's not good. Let's call it, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. You know, okay, I'm just gonna call it the first thing that popped into my mind. It may sound nerdy, it may sound gay, whatever the fuck it sounds like. You guys are gonna have to live with it. Uh, will it fit? Yeah, it fits perfectly. Okay, per perfect, perfect. And this will be like a science lesson for you guys because, okay, there we go, baby. Chlorophyll, and chlorophyll is a green, the, just a fun fact for you guys, you know in like plants, the green, or like leaves are green because of chlorophyll and that helps in photosynthesis to, yeah, absorb nutrition or whatever the fuck it does, but now we're in the Pokemon world, let's not talk about real life things, so, timid nature, oh fuck, yes, I mean, Am I fucking lucky or something? That boosts speed and reduces attack. That's so great for training a special attacker. And Roserade will be a special attacker. I'm so happy right now. I mean, things couldn't have gone better. Guys, this deserves a like, a subscribe, whatever the fuck. Just click all those buttons. I mean, oh my god, I'm so happy. This is perfect. Now, I can't let it die. So, I'm going to do some training here because... I do not want to let my lovely Badu die. And that is a worm pull for you guys, you Emerald fans. And I am an Emerald fan, so I would like to actually use one of those, but they're just really shitty ass Pokemon. They do evolve to their final evolution on level 10, which could be useful early in the game. And that's why I think, like, if you ever watch the Pokemon anime, Ash catches a Caterpie. And Caterpie and Wurmple, like, they're equivalent. They're both shitty bug type Pokemon that evolve to their final Pokemon, their final form on level 10. Anyway, I'm going to do some training here. Yeah, you guys probably know that because that's what I'm doing right now. So, yeah, I'm just going to do the switching out gay-ass shitty training idea. But because I really don't have any other option right now. I mean, I do not want to take any risks with my lovely chlorophyll. This is so perfect. I mean, I'm so happy right now. I'm happy for, like, all of you guys' support. And I'm happy for how this Nuzlocke run is going. I'm just... It's perfect, it's making my life happy again. Okay, so I'm just gonna take these down pretty damn easily. Chlorophyll level 4, not bad stats, I have to say. Growth, that is gonna be really useful, it boosts my special attack. In generation 5, I think it boosts both special attack and physical attack. I'm not gonna go for an absorb on Starly because Starly is a flying type as you guys must be aware of by now and grass type moves are not very effective on flying types So here we go and Bidoof is doing quite well. Bidoof is a beast, baby 
And I'm not going to heal at the Pokemon Center now, I'm considering it, but no. We should always save our heals for later in the game. And I'm not going to Route 203, and you guys may be wondering why, you probably know why. There will be an event over there, like not like a Pokemon event, but like something that we can't stop. I just want to keep it a surprise until it actually happens. So yeah, I just potioned up uh, George and B Bubbles. And yeah, I'm gonna get chlorophyll probably to like level 5. I mean, I'm encountering a lot of these wormholes, that's quite weird. And also, do not want you do not want to go for a grass attack on a bug type Pokemon because that's also not very effective. Just a bit of Pokemon tips for you guys. And there we go. And about the Pokemon random Nuzlocke, randomizing Nuzlocke thing that we were gonna do, we are still gonna do that, don't get worried that we're not. It just has been delayed a bit. That fucker I'm bred couldn't record today. Um, no offense, I'm bred. I'm just joking around. But like, we will record soon. Don't worry about it, guys. Definitely subscribe. And there we go, level 5. I think we are good to go right now. So shall we go to the next route? Oh my god, wait. No. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Why? Why do, like, I yell? Like, Anyway, I'm gonna keep on training in here for a bit. I'm just gonna get to level, level, what you might call it, level six, I believe. Yeah, level six should be good enough because my but you will come in handy in a battle in Route 203. I mean, it's really difficult for me not to say who the battle is with. You guys must know by now. Like Platinum's been out for three years or something, you must know who the battle is with on Route 203. But I'm gonna keep it a surprise for the purpose of this walkthrough. Here we go. And yeah, George is leveling on up, and I'm only using him because he completely dominates here. Like Bubbles would take a few hits to take this Pokemon down, and that's just way too long for me. Okay, great. No attack, that's I don't really give a shit about attack right now, so I'm happy. And there we go. Time to go to the next route. Route 203. 203, yeah, baby. Why'd I do that? So, I'm gonna put. Oh my god. I'm gonna put George first because, yeah. Because even though I do love bubbles, we share that gay love, that gay affection that only gay people know about. Yeah. I'm not gay. <laughs> um, he will probably become my HM slave, I'm sorry to say. Like, he'll be a fun HM slave, like, he'll be my friend. My team member and my HM slave. Like, you can have those type of HM slaves, right? And oh, I did not think that you would be here, Delish. You were just waiting for me, were you? And as always, he thinks he's the best. And he probably is. No, not really. So energetic. Oh, children. Children these days. So, George, yup, I predicted the Starly. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight for the Ember and take him down. There we go, baby. That is really sweet shit. If shit can be sweet, I guess. So, and now what I'm gonna do is, you know, don't get cocky, this isn't over yet. Fuck, because in set mode, basically when I kill a Starly, I won't get the option to switch into another Pokemon. So that means my George will stay out when he sends out his Pip, his, what's it called? A Piplup, yeah. I was like, is it Piplup? Yeah. The penguin. The penguin of doom! Yeah, but this is what I wanted to train my chlorophyll on because chlorophyll has absorb, which is a grass type move. It's only 20 base power, but it's super effective on Piplup, which means it'll do double the amount of damage. And it absorbs my health. So like, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. There we go. He goes for the growl. That doesn't affect me at all, you fucker. Because I only care about a special attack. Absorb is a special type move. So we go for the absorb. Hopefully it'll do a decent amount of damage. I think it will. We get the stab and this super effective double bonus. So yeah, that does definitely do enough damage. So yeah, this chlorophyll will definitely come in handy later on in the game. When Piplup evolves into an Empoleon and learns some really kick-ass water type moves because then we will need to use chlorophyll a lot and on all water pokemon and even the gym leader the next gym leader is rourke i believe and he uses rock and ground type so but you will be a star over there too and i do not want to speed up the battle i mean like there's a rival battle all boss battles and rival battles i never speed up because 
like you guys want to hear the music and shit, right? You want to hear everything as it is. Like I would even want to hear things like as it is. So that's why I'm not speeding it up. And thankfully, we take him down pretty damn easily. I mean, Chlorophyll is like a Pokemon Center in himself. He can just keep healing up with Absorb, which is awesome. George Gain. Oh yeah. I hope there's enough to level. Probably not. Oh yes. Great. Great. And you know, not bad. Not bad at all. There we go. Learn Water Sport. Uh, that reduces ground type moves. It makes ground type moves less effective, which means that it reduces their power, their base power or something. But it's not really useful because I'm going to take down ground Pokemon in a breeze anyway. So he's going to cry because we just beat your ass, nigger. Well, that's it. Like, actually, he's not a nigger. I'm more of a nigger than him. Like, he's completely white. So I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer. Okay. Okay, you do that. You do that, bro. Bye-bye. So, yeah, I'm going to do some training. And, like, we're full health right now. I mean, this is awesome. Okay, and, oh my god. It's already time to catch Nuzlocke Pokemon number 3. I just had Chlorophyll for, like, a couple minutes. And now it's time to introduce the percentages in this route. In the daytime, the percentages are 35% chance of catching the awesome bird Pokemon Starly, 25% chance of catching the electric Pokemon Shinx, 25% chance of catching the retarded Pokemon Bidoof, and 15% chance of catching an Abra. Okay, what do I want? Oh my god, if I got an Abra right now, I'd be so fucking pumped. Like. Abra is so awesome, really awesome special attack, really high speed, and and they're all around really good Pokemon. So there's only a 15% chance of catching them in the day, but I want anything other than a Bidoof. It's great because now I have a 75% chance of not catching a Bidoof. I could catch a Shinx, which I want, Starly, which I want, and an Abra, which I really want, and I really, really want, I really, really, uh, <laughs> what, what am I doing? Anyway, George is first because he knows the move taunt remember last episode yeah i talked about taunt best move ever that will come in handy tremendously if we run into an abra but with, let's stop talking about it let's do this shit oh hey baby come on something good something good okay you know i'm not gonna say fuck yes because actually i'm gonna say fuck yes fuck yes a starly I always wanted one of these, like if you guys watched my previous episodes, I was dying to have one. And now I actually have one and I'm not that happy. So I'm gonna go for a scratch. I am actually pretty happy. They are definitely worth training. Oh fuck. Oh my god, I thought it was gonna be a critical and take him down. Thank god it didn't do that. Alright, so we're gonna go for a Pokeball. Great. Hopefully we can catch her on the first try, just like that one. And I have a nickname determined for Starly because I'm just so sad that I sit around thinking for Pokemon, thinking of Pokemon nicknames. And the only thing was for the Badu, I thought no way in hell am I gonna catch a Badu. That's why I didn't really think of one. Yeah. I'm not sad. I'm just a Pokemon freak. So we're gonna take... No, we're not gonna take him down. We're gonna make him stay in that Pokeball. Great. Good stuff. So now it's time to give the Beast Starly a nickname. Yup, let's read out the data. The Starling Pokemon- What is a Starling? Like, I don't even think that's a type of bird. Because they are weak individually- Bullshit, they're not weak. I'm not reading any more of that shit. It's degrading. So yes, I do want to nickname it. And we will nickname it... Pre... Yeah, that's what we're gonna nickname it. That probably wouldn't fit. So we're gonna name it Predator. Predator. Because she is such a predator man. So let's check out the nature. Hopefully it's something worth training. Even if it isn't worth training, I have to train it. Okay guys. I hope it's good, baby. Sa what the fuck is up with these sassy natures, man? Two sassies. Why are you so sassy, bitches? Like, sassy increases special defense and decreases speed like it's not great at all but it makes me more bulky so maybe that may come in handy later on in the Nuzlocke run I remember someone saying that they would prefer bulk to speed so yeah 
if those guys caught assassinate you, they would be really happy with it. But I am not so mad about it. Like, it's not too bad. And I'm going to use my last potion here because we just defeated our rival who gave us a hefty 900 bucks. And like, how is he so rich? Like, how can he just give me 900 bucks whenever, like, he loses? Yeah, he's going to be giving a lot of people money. So, there we go. We're going to just take out, take down this Starly. Oh, shit. I, oh, my God. Critical. Perfect. I thought I would have to switch out. Great, great, great. Okay, okay, wait. What the fuck? What the fuck? Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry about that, guys. It was a minor maintenance problem, basically. My computer died. So, yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, we're back here. I didn't do anything else. With Predator level 4, Chlorophyll level 7, Bubbles level 7, and, you know, I was thinking about ending the episode here. But I think I'm going to do some training and just talk to you guys for a bit longer because I'm just so happy with how much you guys have supported me so far. So, we're going to go back quickly over here and buy some potions and hopefully that will help us out. Let's do that. Yeah, right here. There we go. And yeah, so guys, this episode will be coming to an end pretty soon, so please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you guys have any social networks like Twitter, Facebook, please press that share button and then that will give you a link or just copy and paste the link in the above bar or whatever um, and post it wherever you can because that helps me out a lot. Only if you guys enjoyed this of course, like if you hated it, don't post it, it's not in order. Just hopefully you did like it and yeah, I'm gonna quickly heal up with this potion. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use a potion on Predator here and then we're gonna do some training about probably train Predator up to level 7. I did actually check out um, Natures and it turns out that a timid nature on Badu is so perfect. You would not even believe how perfect it is. I'm so happy that I actually got that. I'm gonna switch out here. I'm gonna get some training on Bubbles. It's so perfect. I'm so happy it's gonna be a big help in this Nuzlocke run because as I said natures and Pokemon stats are the key things of a Nuzlocke run and those decide whether you win or lose and yeah so that's gonna be a big help so there we go level 5 almost uh, not great stat gains but you know you get what you can get yep so yeah I think now that we have Quick Attack which is an awesome high priority move we can probably take down this Bidoof here Despite it being level 6. Yeah, we can take it down. Pretty damn easily. We've been through di more difficult challenges. Oh my god. Fuck. That was seriously, seriously scary. I don't know if you guys got scared. Oh my god. I swear to god I got scared. I saw that meter rushing down so quickly. I was like, fuck. Imagine if I died. That'd be terrible. Like, I just got Predator like a minute ago. And yeah. So, there we go. Hopefully we can gain a level. Yeah, awesome. Pretty good. Pretty good. Like, all I want are 1s and 2s right now. I don't want any 3s or any shit. I just don't want any zeros. Unless it's like in special attack. I don't really give a fuck about special attack. So here we go. One more level. And then it's time to say goodbye. I know it has been a fun episode. I don't really want to say goodbye. But, you know. Yeah. Emotional stuff. So tomorrow or maybe no not later today tomorrow will be an episode episode 4 and hopefully I'm really hoping that we can film the Pokemon Emerald randomizer Nuzlocke later today if we can that'll be great and it will be uploaded within 24 hours of filming so hopefully we can do that today and I'm Bread's channel will be in the link his link to his channel will be in the description below as always so definitely go check him out he's a cool guy he's doing um, a soul silver walkthrough pretty cool and yeah we will be co-oping together so that's gonna be fun I hope we can do that soon today I mean so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode we did a lot of stuff in this episode like we didn't clear much of the game but we caught two new Pokemon Raised both of them to level 7. Oh my god. Not, it's not too bad. And now, 
from the beginning of the episode, we had a level 10 George and a level 6 Bubbles. Now, we have a level 11 George, level 7 Bubbles, level 7 Predator, level 7 Chlorophyll, and I'm getting mumbled up on words here, so guys, peace out.